Welcome to the 10th subnetting video. We're really getting into the thick of things now. Uh, this is the, the point at which some people start to get a little confused, but don't worry about that. If you do, uh, we'll straighten it all out later and make it easy for you. But I need to present the, the basics and how things work in order to get where we're going. So let's talk about this. Network and broadcast addresses. Every network has to have has to use one of the IP addresses on that network as the identifying address for the network. Let's see how that works. Here are 256 computers representing the a network of 256 computers. And uh, I'm going to say that this happens to be on the 192.168.25.0 network through 192.168.25. Uh, dot two fifty five. So in other words, we're talking one nine two dot one six eight dot twenty five dot zero with a um, oh I already have it down there. I don't need to do it again. Uh, with a uh, subnet mask of two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. So uh, this portion here is the uh, network ID, and then the host ID. Uh, is here, but in this case, I'm showing uh, all. I'm, I'm assuming that we can use all of these. We can use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, all the way up to 255. So everything from 0 to 255 might be one of these hosts here. Well, if we do this anding function that we did in the last video, um, or was it the last video, or actually the one before that? Yeah, the, the uh, anding function in the last video. We would discover that the network address here is 192.168.25.0. Well, that would be this very first one right here. But that's a problem. The first host address looks like it's 192.168.25.0. Now, that can't be both a host address and the network address. We have a problem. So here's a rule. Rule 1. The first address on a network is the network address and cannot be used by a host. So I'm going to color that out. I'm going to say, well, this one's kind of poisoned as a host address because this address is actually a network address itself. It, I can't use it as a host address. This represents this entire network. All right. Likewise, this last one here. This last address cannot be used because it has a special use. It is the broadcast address. If I wanted to send something to all of the computers on this network, then I would have to send it to this address, which in this case is 192.168.25.255. And as soon as the router sees that or the switch sees it or whoever it is sees it, says, this is this is supposed to go to everybody on the network so i can't use it as a host address because it represents the broadcast address so let's do the same thing uh, first of all rule two the last address on the network is reserved for broadcast address and cannot be used as a host address so i'll color out that one and say well no computer can have that address so two of these addresses on any given network any given network two addresses are poisoned. They cannot be used as a host address. So now the only valid addresses I have are this one here, dot one, to this one here, the dot two five four, because the dot zero and the dot two fifty five are used up by the network address and the broadcast address. So I can't use those. So I would say that the first usable host address on this network is 192.168.25.1. The last usable host address is 192.168.25.254, this one here. The network address, this one right here, is 192.168.25.0. And then this one here is the broadcast address, 192.168.25.255. So you can see out of 256 possible addresses, I really can only get 254. I have to subtract 2 from any network 
uh, group in, in, in order to get how many host addresses I can have on that network. All right, so that's about it for this one. It's only been five minutes. Aren't you glad you had another short one? Don't you love these shorter videos? Uh, in the next one, I'm going to look this up here. Oh, yes, in the next one, we're going to look up, uh, we're going to discuss something called CIDR notation. N O T A T I O N. Next. CIDR notation is the way we pronounce that. And we'll talk about that in the next video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you there.